This is basically the worksheet compilation of what I used when I was a Montessori toddler teacher. A few years ago, I was an after school and substitute teacher at a local Montessori school. And what I would do with my class is I would have weekly goals for each of the kids where I would write down their name, obviously words I wanted to work on with them, um, social skills, practical life, colors, shapes, numbers, letters, all the good stuff that toddlers should be learning. I'm gonna go through what each of these sections are and then we're going to fill out a sample worksheet so you guys can get an idea of how this works. So basically up at the top, you have a spot to fill in the week. So I would write the week of January 10th. Over here, you have students' names and ages if you have a multi-age classroom or even just younger and older toddlers in the same room. That's what that's for. You have a spot to put your AM class schedule and PM class schedule, which is helpful if you need to keep track of it or if there are different teachers in the classroom for those different times of day. Whole class goals and activities for the week. So here you could write the general skills you want to work on for a class. Like say, we're all learning the letter A. We're all focusing on the color blue that kind of thing. And then down here you come and you write individual goals for each student. And I have the spot to put the student's name, general skills. I have a goal word, a number, a letter, practical life skill, sensory skill, motor skill, and social skill. I really loved doing this. I saw so much growth with each of the kids because every kid's at their own stage, even if they're like the same age in the same classroom, they're all learning different things. And so this gave me a very tangible way of watching their progress and helping them grow as much as I could. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and put this down on the table and I'll show you guys how I fill it out. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this. January 10th. So let's just say we have six students in our class. We'll call them Ava, who's two, Rip, who's one and a half, Leah, 18 months, Declan's two, Evie is 21 months, the lovely age, and Faye, who is also two. Okay. So then this one I know a lot better because this is more like what I had. So activities for the week. We'll say it's the second week back from school or back from break. We'll do friendship. And our number, we'll say number four. Five. What I would do at this point is cleaning up snack. Pretty much my role was once the kids were two, I started teaching them how to prepare and clean up their own snack and lunchbox and that kind of thing. But of course you can work with whatever your student's skill level is. We'll just say puzzles for the week. pretty much it, I would say. So let's see what Ava could work on. I also had a list of goal words and you can literally just look up any list of words that a child at such and such age should know and just go down the list, making sure that they know and can use those words. For Ava, who's two, tunnel is pretty appropriate. Number, I'll just say, number five because that's what everyone's learning letter z practical life skill i would say zippers at this point because two-year-olds can usually start learning how to zip and unzip their lunch boxes and jackets and stuff sensory i'd even say a jacket and for a social skill uh giving toy to friends. 
And then what this could look like for a younger kid, like 18 month old Claire. Expect something like please. Or thank you. Something very basic. Also the number five, letter Z. A uh, practical life skill for an 18 month old would look a lot different. Washing hands with help. And then the motor skill would be the tunnel. Social skill would be hands to self. So just stuff like that. Of course, you have to know your individual students to be able to come up with these things. I'm just coming up with just kids that I remember from years ago <laughs> for what I would work on with them at these stages. Plenty of space to just write a keyword and be able to have a quick cheat sheet of what you want to work on each week. Of course, you could even cross that out and do the month if you wanted to whatever works for you, but I just wanted to share this with you guys so that you have an extra resource to make your classroom the best that it can be. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing kind of an example of how I would fill this out. This is just something that you guys can I did want to quickly share two freebies that are on Teachers my Pay Teachers. Now, this one is a little bit older. If you're like a toddler teacher, this won't be as relevant, but it wouldn't be the worst thing to start teaching preschoolers. This is just a freebie of the 50 state capitals of the United States. So if you just want something to put on your wall or whatever, this is free <laughs> and I'll link it below. Um, and then also for a little bit older kids, maybe even probably elementary, if you know anyone with an elementary kid who would love to color and do a little bit of basic research, this is an all about my state page. They can color or cut out pictures about their state, like a state bird, state flag, landmarks, pictures of your city, and then fun facts about the state, like the capital city, the state bird, the state tree, all that good stuff. And then some older kids could write two or three sentences that they learn about their state. So this is also free. I have a full notebook for elementary schoolers and then a more advanced notebook for middle grade, but this specific sheet is available for free on my Teachers Pay Teachers. So I will link all three of these worksheets down below so you guys can check them out. And with that, I will talk to you guys next time. Thank you for being here.